August TBR is going to be a very chaotic one. I also have my TBR game, the TBR of Colors, and I'm also participating in the Tropical Readathon, and I'm also participating in the Olympicathon, which starts in July but ends in August 8, so there is a lot. That's why I'm doing this TBR early. I'm just trying to understand what I'm going to read in August, so yes, there is a lot. Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jane, and today I'm doing my August TBR, which is also my Tropical Readathon TBR. I'm so excited that for August there is going to be a lot of reading and because this TBR is going to be so long I think that let's just get started. I'm going to start with my TBR game August TBR of Colors but before we get started I just want to mention that I will have to read Sky Beyond the Storm by Sabatair which is the fourth and the final book in the Ember in the Ashes series. I'm reading it for our Ember in the Ash along the read along that I'm casting with some amazing hosts. I hope to get purple so I can count it a part of my TBR game but anyway I will be reading this book in August. So yes, let's start with the TBR of colors. Meet my new TBR card. I have a new TBR card. Oh my god, it's so exciting. So usually I'm doing my TBR of color in my TBR shelf, but I'm not going to do it this month because I have a really big book haul coming really soon and I don't want to spoil any of my books in my book haul. So today we are just going to be with my TBR card. Now last month was the first month of the TBR of colors and last month I said that every book that I'm not going to read, I I will punish myself with extra spin but I don't think that I'm going to punish myself because I'm a mood reader and when I know that there is a punishment I just get extra nervous so I'm going to do my TBR game without any punishments so like last time I'm just using this up for the color wheel and I'm doing five spins so let's start with the first spin of August oh my god I'm really really excited pink. Okay, I almost don't have any pink books on my TBR. Okay, 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 perfect. So I have here The Maidens by Alex Michalidis and I have the edition translated to my native language, but like you can see the edition is pink and it's part of my Olympicathon TBR so I can just read it in the beginning of August. So perfect. And honestly, I don't know what it's about. Okay, so from what I get, the main character of the story goes to this college because there is some kind of murder. I guess it's a murder mystery. I know that the there is a lot of Greek mythology elements in the story. And yes, it's a new release, so I'm going to choose it for pink. Next pin. Light blue. I actually have a lot of blue, but most of it is dark blue. Let's see. Okay, it can work. Opposite of Always by Jensen A. Reynolds. This is also yellow. There is a lot of light blue. And this is a contemporary romance, but it's magical realism because the main character of the story gets stuck in some time loop. Basically, the main character of the story meets a girl and they fall in love, but this girl dies in the same day and then he wakes up in the same day again. It sounds really, really cool. I love those kind of stories with twists. So yes, for light blue, I'm picking opposite of always. Okay, next color. Green. Okay, so far I'm getting the same colors as last month. Now for green, I actually already know which book I want to pick. This is Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno Gracia. Now, most of the book is red, but there is a lot of green. The whole book in the back is green. So, I'm going to count it. And this is a Gothic horror story that I want to read for so, so long. And the main character of the story gets some kind of letter from her cousin. And her cousin asks her for help. And it seems like something isn't right. I really love horror books. And I heard amazing, amazing thing about this book. I know that it's really atmospheric. And I really love those atmospheric horror books. So this is my choice for green. Orange. Okay, finally another color. Okay, I literally have only one orange book on my TBR card, but this is perfect because I do want to read Illumine for so so long. This is a first book in a sci-fi trilogy, and the cool thing is that this is mixed media. Like, the whole book is mixed media. Tapes, boards, and papers. So many cool things, and I heard that also the audiobook is really cool with a lot of sound effects. I'm planning to read it also physically and also in audio, and I'm really, really excited. I do want to read it for a very long time and I was aiming to read it in the summer so August is the last month of the summer so I really hope to get to this one and yes this is my orange pick and the last pin for August is 
light. Okay, so light actually works really, really good. As Sky Beyond the Storm is half purple and half white. So I'm going to choose Sky Beyond the Storm. Obviously, this is a book that I will read. And yes, I'm really excited to read it. And this is going to be the last book of the series. So, oh my God, that's really exciting. So this is the five books for my TBR of Colors. The Maidens, Opposite of Always, Illumine, Mexican Gothic, and a Sky Beyond the Storm. I'm really excited. And also all of them are fitting to the Tropical Readathon. So let's get to my Tropical Readathon TBR. The Tropical Readathon is basically a month-long readathon based on tropes that you can understand from the name. So this is a really big readathon. And it's my first time ever participating in this readathon. I'm really, really excited because there is just so many fun prompts. Basically, there is 14 common challenges for everyone. And there is also two team challenges based on your team. I'm going to be in a horror thrillers mystery team. And I'm so, so excited. I really love the prompts for this team. And there is also team books, but you don't have to read the book of your team. You can read others' team book and you can read more than one book's team. But the most important thing is that you can't double up. For example, you already in a team book. You can't double up the team book with another prompt or another challenge. So if I want to complete everything, I need to read 15 books, not including the team books. And this is a lot. You have options for every challenge. I don't know if I will be able to complete everything, but I do have a good amount of audiobooks. And I think that this will really, really help me. So my aim for August is to read 15 books, which is a lot. Now let's just start with the two team challenges. The first challenge for the whole mystery thriller team is, is it supernatural? Some kind of story that you are not sure if what's going on is supernatural or not. And I'm reading Mexican Gothic. This works perfectly for this prompt and for my team genre, a horror mystery. So, so excited. And the second team challenge is locked room mystery, which honestly sounds to me like one of the coolest prompts. And I'm going to read the guest list by Lucy Polly. I'm really, really excited about this book. Like, this is one of my most highly anticipated books for my TBR. I think that I'm really going to love it. And this is basically about a wedding on an island, but they get stuck on this island. And this is some kind of murder mystery. I don't want to know too much. I just heard such amazing reviews about this book. And I'm really getting more into thrillers this year. So I'm really, really excited to read it. And there is also two teams books that I'm aiming to try to read them. The first one is The Taking of Jake Livingston, which is a new release. And this is also a book for my team. So I feel like this is suitable. And basically this is a YA horror. And I actually really enjoy YA horror. And this is about a boy who is seen ghosts or something like this. I'm just really excited to read it. And the second book, it's from the Romance Contemporary Team. And this is XOXO. And this is one of my highly anticipated releases of 2021. Because this is basically about a girl who is falling in love with a K-pop idol. But in the start of the book, she don't know that he is a K-pop idol. And K-pop idols can date. So it's going to be a lot of drama. And I really love to read books about K-pop. Sounds really, really good. I'm really excited for it. And it also works really good for the Olympicathon. I'm hoping to read it in the beginning of August. And now let's go to the 14 common challenges. Every challenge has a given top, but you can complete the alternative prompt. So basically there is two options for every challenge, which is amazing. Now the first challenge is absent or dead parents. And I have an audiobook option for this book, Felix Ever After by Kassan Calendar. And honestly, I don't know a lot about this book. I just know that it's following a transgender teen and I never read a book with a transgender main character. So I'm really, really excited to read it. I also heard really good reviews about this book. And according to this site, there is the absent parent trope in this book. So it's supposed to count. So yes, Felix Ever After for the absent parents. And the second common challenge is time loop. And of course, I'm going to read opposite of always. I'm just really excited to read it. And it works perfectly for this prompt. So amazing. The next prompt is found family. But in this one, I'm going to use the alternative prompt for the read. And I'm going to read a Sky Beyond the Storm because this is a group body read, a read along. So this is my read for the body read prompt. And the next common challenge is coming of age. And I actually have two options for this challenge. Both of them are audiobooks. It's a group and girls guide to tea and tomorrow. And this is basically a romance contemporary story. The main character of the story goes to some kind of vacation, I think. And this is her story and her finding herself and discovering herself. I actually want to read this book for a very long time. It's been on my audiobooks TBR for a good amount. But if I want to get to this book, I have Black Girl Unlimited for a second option. And someone from the Tropical Reader from Discord chat recommended this book. I also don't know a lot about it, but I do know that there is some kind of magical realism, which sounds really cool. And yes, this is some kind of coming of age story. So I'm going to listen to one of those books 
for the coming of age 12. Now the next common challenge is food theme and I have also two audiobooks options for this prompt. The first one is Tweet Cute by Emma Lord which I'm so excited to read. I read You Have a Match by Emma Lord not a long time ago and it's definitely one of my favorite romances that I read this year and it was a YA romance. Tweet Cute is an adult romance and apparently there is a food theme in the story so I'm really really excited to listen to it but if I want to get to this one I have the option of Fall Love Story which is another contemporary romance with cooking and yes there is some kind of restaurants and I'm not sure if this is Enemies to Lovers because it sounds like Enemies to Lovers according to the synopsis but anyway I'm going to read one of those books and I'm really excited because I don't really read a lot of food themed books so I'm going to give it a chance the next common challenge is a blast from the past read a book with an encounter of someone from the past now I have also two options for audiobooks also for this common challenge the first one is the only good Indians which is a horror story and I heard that this is a really really scary horror story and the main characters of the story are some kind of adults that know each other from childhood and they get in together again I'm not sure and the next option is The Right Way by Alicia Ray and the two main characters of the story are creators of two rival dating apps so this is another enemies to lovers with dating apps sounds really really cool so I'm going to read one of them and the next common challenge is mixed media and I'm going to read Illumina because there is a lot of mixed media in the book and I'm also going to read it mixed media because I'm going to read it also physically and also in the audio. I'm really really hoping to get to this one because it's a highly anticipated read. It's also a five star prediction so I'm really hoping to get to this one in August. So this is my choice for the mixed media. And the next common challenge is post apocalyptic but I'm going to go with the alternative poem fire on the cover which is Arsenic and Adobe by Nia P. Manasela which is also a food theme book but I'm going to count it as the fire on the cover because there is fire on the cover and this is some kind of contemporary and some kind of comedy I know that it's really funny but the really cool thing is that this is a murder mystery so a funny comedy murder mystery sounds so so perfect I heard actually really good reviews about this book and I'm going to listen to it also in the audiobook because I do want to complete my TBR and there are a lot of books but I'm really excited for it now the next common challenge is an historical figure but I'm going to use also the alternative prompt for this challenge published in 2021 and I'm going to read The Main Dance a new release works perfectly out for my TBR of Colors so yes I'm really excited I'm going to read it in the beginning of August because it's also for my Olympicaton TBR and yes now the next common challenge is actually a really cool one because it's all happened in one day it sounds so cool and I have two options for this challenge the first one is They Both Die at the End by Aldam Silvera which is a book that been on my TBR for so so long and this is basically some kind of dystopian world where everyone get a message in their last day alive so the two main characters of the story get a message that they are going to die today and this is their last day alive and they are getting connected through a find friends up and this is a main male romance so this is just supposed to be a really sad story about their last day alive another book with amazing reviews and my second option is The Sun is also a star by Nicola Yoon and this is basically following two teenagers and Natasha, this teenager, she and her family are going to be kicked out to Jamaica from I think the US, like this is what they get. So this is her last day where she lives and this is some kind of romance story. Honestly, I am excited a little bit more for They Both Die at the End. But this is a really short book. It has less than 300 pages and it's also in my native language and I'm reading really fast in my native language. So this is my plan B if I want to get to They Both Die at the End. And yes, a really short book and everything happens in one day. Now, the next common challenge is multiple POVs and I have another two options for this challenge. The first one is Ace of Spades which is a new release, a thriller and I heard that this is such a page toner. I wrote so many amazing reviews and this is only a new release. I'm so so excited to read it. I really hope to get to this one. It's just about two teenagers in their school or something like this. I don't want to know too much. I really want to go to this blind and I really hope to love it. And my second option is the audiobook again if I want to get to Ace of Spades and this is up when you land by Elizabeth Acevedo. This is a book written in verse and it's following two sisters that are finding out that they are sisters because their father is getting killed in an airplane crash. I heard that this book is so so emotional and I really want to read it for so long. I just 
just read my first book in verse in June and I really wanted to read more books in verse. It's so fun. So I'm really hoping to get one of those books. And now the next common challenge is the new kid in town. But I'm going to use the alternative prompt, a genre that you usually don't read. And this is going to be a sneak peek for my upcoming book haul. But I'm going to read a middle grade. What? If you're not new to my channel, you know that I never read middle grade. Also, when I was in the age of middle grade, I almost didn't read any middle grade. I went straight to young adult. But I'm really, really excited for this book. And this is Nevermore by Jessica Townsend. First of all, I'm going to read it in my native language. And the cover is so gorgeous. Honestly, this is one of the reasons that I'm really excited to read it. And this is following a girl that everyone knows she's cursed. And she's going to die in her 11th birthday. But of course, she's not going to die. And she's going to the secret town Nevermore. And yes, I don't want to know anything more. I never thought that I will be this excited to read middle grade ever in my life. But I'm really trying to give a chance to genres that I usually don't read. I'm not expecting too much. I will go to it expecting a middle grade book. But yes, I'm really excited and maybe I will like it. I really hope to like it. And again, the cover is gorgeous. And this is a genre that I usually don't read. And the last common challenge, finally, is a retailing. And I actually have a really good amount of choices because I do have a lot of retailings. I just love retailings. They are really fun. The first one is Go Serpent Phone by Melissa Bachelas. This is actually a book that is keeping jumping from TBRs. It's been on so many TBRs so far. And this is basically Sleep and Beauty retelling. But this is a suffix Sleep and Beauty retelling. Sounds really cool. This is a fantasy standalone. And there isn't a lot of fantasy standalones. So I'm really excited to read some kind of fantasy standalone. And yes, I want to read it for so many months. So I'm really hoping to get to this one. But if I won't get to this one, I have Cinderella is Dead by Aileen Bayron, which is, like you can understand, Cinderella retelling. This is actually also a suffix retelling, which is cool. And this is about a dystopian world where girls have to go to a ball. And in this ball, men choose them to be their wives. And they have to marry the man that is going to choose them. Also a book that is keeping to jump in on my TBRs. It's been on so many TBRs so far. And my last option is Kill a Kingdom by Alexander Christo. My copy got ruined, which is really, really sad. But this is the Little Mormon retelling, I think. It's enemies to lovers. And the main character of the story is a mermaid that gets punished. And she's going to live in the human world. And she's getting shelter with the prince. I heard so many good reviews about this book. Another fantasy standalone. So yes, this is my fourth option. And I'm just going to read one of those three retellings for the retelling spawn. So this is a few of my options. And this, without including the books that I'm not going to read physically, there is a lot of books. But I do have more than one option for a lot of the challenges. I'm just a mood reader and I love when I have options. Like this, I will probably finish more of my TBR. I'm just really excited. There is just so many interesting and fun books. And there is also a good amount of audiobooks. And I think that with the audiobooks, I can actually complete my TBR. And yes, I'm just so, so excited for August. I'm really, really hoping that August will be a good reading month. I just love those really big and fun readathons. And I'm still participating in the Olympicathon until August 8th. So technically, I'm participating in two readathons in August. But yes, there is just so, so many really, really exciting fun options. And yes, I hope to read those 17 books for the 15 prompts and the two group books. Let's hope for the best. My next video is going to be the video that's uploading on my birthday. I have a birthday this month in the 25 and I'm so so excited. So I'm going to do a really fun video for my birthday and also the upcoming book haul is getting really really close. If you want to know when my upcoming book haul is going to be uploaded, it's the notification bell so you can get a notification. Thank you so so much for watching this video. It was so so fun to make this TBR and until the next video you can check more videos by me and I will see you in my birthday video. Bye everyone!